best of team rugby is that you can't really beat it in terms of passion. First 15 revision is back for 2021 and we decided to go big. We're at Orange Theory Stadium in Christchurch for our first episode. This year, we're going bigger and better. More games, more stories and even the top four nationals at the end of the year. We started off our coverage in Wellington for some pre-season matches, the Presbyterian Quad Tournament. I told you we were going big and we definitely went big with the commentator. We got Adi Savir for his very first call. Let's see what his chat was like. I'd like to start off by thanking NEP for the fine work they've done down here since before the sun came up. First game of the season for First 15 Rugby. We've been going 12 years and it's actually really good to be back. Today we've got Presbyterian Quad Tournament. We have to be very conscious, please everybody, that we are at a school. This is private property, this is Scott's school and we're dealing with school kids. So a level of respect and a little bit of delicacy required whenever we're interviewing kids or working around kids would be appreciated, please. Hello, here's Artie Savia. Okay, commentary wise, especially today, and quite excitingly, we've got Artie Savia. Artie Savia, look at this. No room to move, less than five or so metres. He's going to cut his teeth on his first commentary gig ever. Well, it's a great opportunity for our coverage of First 15 Rugby to have Artie Savia, captain of the Hurricanes, 49 tests for the All Blacks. Artie Savia really had to stretch himself to win that turnover. He's very nervous because it's a big step out of his um, out of his comfort zone. Artie Savia can do things on the rugby field that no other loose forward can do in the game. He's obviously very comfortable in areas around the tactical side of the game, but he's very nervous about the responsibility you have when you become a commentator, when you become an ambassador, and you become a spokesperson on behalf of the game, something that he hasn't done before. Just given that little brief about... Um, they're just kids. They're just kids, yeah, so not overly critical. Well, television commentary is three things. It's analysis, authority and entertainment. A lot of us are still struggling with how much has one uh, got more value than the other or are they all equal parts? And as I said to Artie, I said, you can be intelligent, learned and on point, but boring and the audience is asleep after five minutes. Uh, equally, you can be energetic and pumped, uh, but maybe not saying anything, but you're entertaining to listen to. What if I told you that Artie Savi is commentating up there at the moment? He's only about 100 metres away. That would be pretty cool. Oh. Sure. <laughs> Watch out, um, Justin Marshall, John Curran, I'm coming after you. Well, do you reckon that's appropriate saying um, fob? A fob? Hey, just say fresh out, fresh out. Because if I say fob, they might come back and bite me in the bum. Mate, making my debut commentating, mate, so I'm real nervous, eh? Nah, I'm not real nervous. I'm just, I've just told myself to embrace it, um, have some fun, and, um, like get to know how how it is commentating so yeah but it's funny because my house is you know where those trees are those big those like um those three main ones on the top of the hill huh? that's where i live so it's just a nice minute drive down so we're live now bro and what a pleasure and what a privilege it is for our coverage of uh, first 15 rugby to have hurricanes captain and all black Adi Savia in co commentary with us. Talofa, Malo, Lava, Sui Fu, Adi. Malo, Lava, Sui Fu, Money Weekend. It's amazing to be here today at the 29th annual Presbyterian Schools Conjugate Tournament. I'm really excited to be here and commentate and um, see these young men go to work and showcase their talent. I told you they've got a reasonable blind, about 17 metre blind if they want to go there. 
A little eight, nine, Stoddart, Stoddart, too big, too strong, and in the end, too good. Exactly, Ken. Number eight at the back of the scrum. With pace like that, with strength like that, he's a hard man to tackle, and obviously you see scoring points under the post. Outstanding contribution. Well, that's what we want. And players come from the bench, and usually they're a mix of one or two things, aren't they, Hardy? One, not happy that they're not starting. Um, and they find a way to express their displeasure by turning it on when they get the ball. And two young players coming through. Sounds familiar. <laughs> Got a game on our hands. As they say in sport, a champagne finish. This game is fast, Ken. It's exciting. I'm on the edge of my seat. One play from either side will determine the victor in this thrilling contest. How's your heart, Mr. Commentator? You're doing all right? Yeah. Yeah, my heart's racing, eh? <laughs> Never been more excited watching college footy like this before. Oy, that'll do it. They will win the game. St. Ken again with time on the clock. So how are you oh, after yeah. that? Game one. <laughs> oh, game two. Glad two it's over. Games. I'm two glad games. it's over. Hey? No, it was funny. Thank you for, for carrying me. Uh, I know your no back's worries. a bit sore. Uh, no worries, brother. It's one of those things where you just have to keep doing it to get better. Yeah. But um, yeah. I know, speaking on behalf of um, our team at Sky, our family at Sky, but I know on behalf of the viewers what a big thrill it was. We sort of have you with us. Thanks, Kim. You know, given who you are in the game and given your leadership to have you talking about these players and being part of our, uh, our being part of our coverage makes it all the more special. So, yeah. thank you. All good, also. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. The rehab for your injury. Yeah. Hey? And maybe. Maybe this is the start of bigger things to come. Oh. Hey, after this, we'll have our own soap opera. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we would have uh, been, yeah, uh, yeah, hey, yeah, yeah, we'll call yeah. it Brown Hill Street, not, <laughs> not Shortland Street. You <laughs> 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 could be Dr. Ropata. <laughs> Congratulations to St Andrews College and St Kennigan College for getting some pre-season wins under their belts. But now this is where it all begins, round one of their competition. Artie and Ken did a good job, but George and I, we're going to take you through St Andrews College versus Nelson. Let's go. Well, kia ora, good afternoon and welcome to Auto Tahi Christchurch for round one of the Crusaders region secondary schools competition with the home side St Andrews College taking on the boys from up the road Nelson College out the backs they go now charging foot is in made and lovely we get there slices on through as Torian Barnes he's still going makes it to the halfway well, I like their confidence just backing themselves inside their own 22 look at that left foot step from the forward look at that about three people to bring him down just absolutely put the burn after burners on and they do it's exactly what they do off the top they go on a nice wee pop pass charging forward is newton and he gets away well he scored the last try of the competition last year for st andrews college and he scored the first this year here in this game at orange theory stadium he's a happy happy man connor newton had only eyes for the try line. Look at that, just leg drive. Evan had the fend in there, and look at that smile on his face when he knew he was in. Fantastic. This ball play a little bit. Wonderful pass. Back inside, he passes and he gets it away again. Jake Burridge, open side flanker. Wonderful little ball play out to the left and gets the pill back and he'll score the first try this year for Nelson College in the second of the game. Can Irvine get this one right? They go to the front through Burridge, the try scorer out through. It's as simple as that. Oh, lads. Thornley finds uh, Lefale with a big tap. Yeah, look at this big head coming in from Tamari Frost. There's been a lot of passion in this game. Irvine with the throw, taken out in the middle by Lepin. It's at the back. Get in here and drive, says Thornley. Keep it moving. That's the try line you can see in the top of your screen. 
continue to roll forward and they come away through the hooker through Tackle Irvine. There. Hands out. Looking for runners. Lawton with the run down there. Second five. Looking for runners again. Bali Soma Somo, that's the sticks, and he gets across for an easy try there in the end. Continue to go. Is out. Tody gets out the way and a good charge for there from Frosty Springs. He's got the try. Bones. Six. Holes. Tauti with the feed. It's a good shove Hold though from now. Nelson. We've got another tight end. Comes away through Thornley. Finds inches. A big gap there. He tries to go through himself. Spinning around that blind side. They find Lepin again. Looking for runners as Thornley finds a bully. Soma Soma and he's got plenty of his mates on his shoulder. Still going. There's the trial line. He's over it. Can he get it down? Bamba says no. uh, held up. Driving through and getting under the ball, I think. Yep, fantastic work. Well caught and spotted by the referee. It's at the back and it's taken off the back through. Bali Somo Somo fins one off. He's taken Tackle four there. of them to get him to ground. Runners coming round the corner through left end. Continue to go to the right. That's if football is back on the field, puts his hand up for a carry and I try to hold him up though. It's Harry Lindsay. There it is again for Lawton with a wee step. Bali Somo Somo. Tries short to repeat what he did about 10 minutes ago. It's a bobbled away and he jumps forward for the try. It's the new man out. Love shirt. It just opened up for no one marking the ruck. What happened is that they cleaned someone out, which meant it just opened up for him. Look, open up, there we go. Taken down. That's their own trial, I know. Torian Barnes with a carry for St Andrews. Tauti looking for someone to get rid of it. Armstrong, Ravola kicks it. So 70 minutes gone, but the ball is still in play. Price intercept, here he goes. 21's out there, Foster. And he'll go all the way and score under the sticks in front of his home crowd. So a try there to finish the match for St Andrews College. Takes him through to 22 points to 29. A big intercept. Tap and go. Final play, through lads. Sexton. Final play, though. Nicely ball around the back. It comes, it's been stolen though, and that is the Hooter. Release, lads. Hold, hold, hold. Blake Bunch goes and digs it out. Get the grunt with a big kick. Will it go over the touchline? It'll beat them all. Alan Howe has the flag up. So that is it, ladies and gentlemen. 29 points to 24. Nelson College, your winners here. We managed to bump into Aaron Smith here on the sideline before the Super Rugby Aotearoa final. Aaron, I know you were at high school probably 100 years ago, but what do you remember from it? I remember, you know, being a proud field and egg boy. Um, you know, I made the first 15 in my fifth form, played for three years, best memories of my life. You know, from haka, road trips to, you know, I had some amazing wins. Um, and, you know, the memories are great and it really helped show, you know, ooh, rugby could be something outside of school I'd like to do. I didn't think it was going to be anything, but you know, you know, I got goals, goal setting, and all those things around work ethic taught to me at First Fifteen. Do you still follow First Fifteen rugby at the moment? Yeah, I follow fielding um, very tightly. We've got a couple of boys, uh, Jonah Nariki and uh, Villamani Karoi and Cody Taylor and Sam Wallach. We all talk about fielding ag whenever we um, get together and play. But you know, uh, I'm helping uh, our young halfback out there at the school at the moment, just with some passing clips, talking through Instagram and stuff. And, He's, and we've got a family connection, so I try to keep tabs, give back when I can, and no, I'm very passionate about my school. Well, there's some massive pathways coming through for secondary school rugby players, including the Super Rugby Under-20 tournament that happened for the first time this year. Let's check it out. We're in Taupo for the Super Rugby Under-20 tournament. Let's catch up with some of our former Land Rover First 15 players to see what they're up to. 
Jaden, how have you found this tournament this week? Uh, it's been real good. Um, I really enjoyed it. Yeah, just real grateful to have this opportunity given to me and so, um, be able to verse all the best on the 20s around New Zealand. What's it like playing with and against people you went to school with? Uh, it's um, pretty cool, eh? Because I uh, know quite a few, uh, like probably most of the boys on this um, tournament and just be able to mingle, mingle up back in um, where we're staying because we're all staying together and just uh, have that bond and then just be able to play against them is just a surreal feeling. It's McKenzie. McKenna will straighten it through. McKenna in the middle. He needs support. Evans, great support line, Corey Evans. And it's a second try for the Blues. Yeah, the tournament has been good. Um, any day, anyone one could beat anyone. But I've really enjoyed it. Weather's been uh, a bit partial sometimes, but the sun came out. Good win. You're part of the Blues squad, so you're playing with men a lot older than you. What's it like coming back and playing with kids your own age? Um, it's, it, it's sort of similar. Um, the skill level is real high. Um, but I just kind of take what I've learned up at um, the top level from uh, a few All Blacks and a few of the great players in Super at the moment and try and um, give back what I can to our team um, and yeah, put le uh, learnings into play. Do you have any good banter with any of the players in your team or opposite teams? Oh, well, I, I probably have the best chat in the team. So um, a lot of boys, when, they, when their morale's down, they come to me, look for a boost or well, their morale will get lower because I just ripped them out. So, yeah, ask anyone. Come back away to this right-hand side. Mackenzie inside for Maka. Dropped it by Tavuki Nipkins. Still going. It's another cracker by the Blues. Just the front of my Tavuki Nipkins. Stephen Bates coaching this in the 20 Blues team. It's probably different for us than anyone else because we've had more sort of lockdowns. So we've got guys that are one year out of school and um, and first year out of school, you know. So for us, they probably haven't had the football that they've had of other franchises. But in saying that, there is a massive step up in physicality. The size of boys is bigger. And three games in six days is a, is a massive effort for them all. This man has really been the architect of the 15 points for the Hurricanes today. Nice contact. Great results. Boy, he's got the Midas touch today. Aiden, how did the King's College program prepare you for playing in a professional environment? I think um, Kings really took their rugby very seriously and um, the quality of coaching was really high and we had SSC trainers in the whole work, so I really took a lot from my time at Kings and try to implement that in my game now. Does playing in this competition kind of build a desire to play Super Rugby? Yeah, it does. You see, well, you see how they would do it in the Super Rugby, so it kind of gets put back on like us and now we're younger but it still feels pretty surreal to like be in that super rugby environment. Oh this tournament's been an incredible way. Lots of talent out there from all around the country and coming all together. It's a brutal, brutal competition but it's, it's great. You're from Hamilton boys, uh, you find yourself down in the Highlanders, have you find the move to the deep south? Oh it's been great eh? not not knowing a lot of people when I first came down there but everyone's from around the country and you meet new friends and it's great. Made heaps of new friends and had a lot of good experiences. It's been a great week catching up with all our former Land Rover First 15 players. What a great pathway this tournament is. Land Rover First 15 Rugby kicks off a big day of rugby on Sky. It's a college traditional between Scots College, the reigning Wellington champions, and one of the powerhouse schools in Auckland schoolboys rugby, King's College. Leave it. Here's the impressive Manu Lelu on the outside there is Tawala. Opportunity here for Kings on the inside to Alatini. He's up to the line and he will score the try, the first of the game, Trey Alatini. And his silky smooth skills we've seen earlier this time gets him all the way to the try line. Five points for Kings, soon to be seven. Balls out. Tempted counter ruck there from Scotts. Now Doyle. A little bit of space on the outside here. Good run this from McDonald. Gets around his way, coming across to make the tackle. Gets the arms free to Doyle. This is terrific from Gaines. Doyle, and Doyle will score. Happy. Scrum, it's right in centre field. They go left to Manu Lelua. Gets round one. Gets round one, does Manu. Here he goes. He's got player on the outside. Just charges forward. All the strength, and he's over. What a try. Francis Manulelua for Kings, their third. Tapped on the Kings side by the captain, Clark Doyle. Flat pass this time to Atawa, holds it. No, it's, sorry, that's a, that's a block of Tui. Up he goes, he's still going, Yosefa. Terrific run, Yosefa. Oh, he just kept going and going and going, and he's over. 
So we see the replay here. Watch this. He's just looking for someone. Oh, no, there's the space. And he's just in mid-air. Good fend. Finds another fend and just keeps those legs pumping. T.R.Y. try. He has to let it go, the Scots defender. Here's Doyle. Wrapping around Manu Lua. They're lighting up out on the left. Here comes the big midfielder. And he's over. Again, Kings. This time, Liam Tower gets the try. Kings again as the all afternoon have gone quick. Shea Clark brings it down. Clear it through their halfback. And here is the very imposing run of Yosefa. He's already scored one try, and that's been thrown out to the left-hand side and intercepted. They come again to Scots. Balls presented. This is Lawson. Chance here if they can spin it. Here's Christians. Come back on the inside. And Scots do get the try through their blindside flanker, Aiden Christians. They are looking like that more direct route might be the way. It's going to be cleared here by Murray. Here's Doyle. This time he grabbed, cuts back on the inside. Manu Lelua, and he will go over the posts. Kings score their sixth try of the first half. And that is an exclamation mark on that half. Wonderful work from Francis Manu Lelua. This angle here will be great as you just see him glide through. I mentioned in his first try, he walks on water. Well, he's done it again. This has been carried forward. Here is try scorer in the first half for Scott's Aiden Christians carrying that ball forward. Presents it for his halfback, Stewart. Floats it out. Lovely pass here. Chance for Mata Eli. He's up over halfway as Rupini. Stewart charging forward this time is Cody Lockatui. Good play from Scott's here. Stewart manhandled. Ball is play on, so Lockatui picks it up. Here's Mataeli. Bit of space here. Bit of chance. Bit of an opportunity here for Rapini. Mataeli gets round the defender. And in the corner he goes. And Scott's get the first try of the second half through their left winger, Rapini Mataeli. Oh, I stand corrected. You can run it from deep. And you can score tries from deep. Rupeni Mataeli gliding just as efficiently as his brother. Look at this. In and out. In and out. Try time. Didn't look like much was on down that left hand flank. Another pick and go from Treadwell, and the try's been scored. Oh, outstanding break here by Lokatui. I felt like Stewart ran away from him. Could have just stayed tight for an inside ball. They eventually do the business through the pick and go. Yeah, anywhere on the front. That man, Maini Lokini, eventually getting over that try line. Just asking some different questions of this Kings team. I've got a scrum. Right on halfway as it's cleared to. The hero from the first half, and he's powerful as Ali Latawa. He's still going. He's still going. He could feed it out to Tawala, and they will score. What a wonderful try. Oh, Latawa. He has just been sensational today. Gliding through the gap, straight off the scrum. Good fend, and then just some pace. Kings looking to finish this game on high. Lovely referee. Doyle just holds the pass, gets it to Alatini. He ducks under, short. plants the ball, but he's short. Comes back for Kings. The danger is not over. Cleared here. Charging forward, trying to spin this time. It was Takiwa Fatuwira. Comes for Doyle. Here's Manu Lelua. He's already got one try. Lovely little pass. Draw and pass. And what a deserved try that is for the captain, Shea Clark. <laughs> so the referee says that Lewis. King's College dominant in this traditional fixture. Full time. 48 to 18. A wonderful performance from King's College. Congratulations to King's College on getting the win over Scott's College. That's it from us here at Orange Theory Stadium in Christchurch, where Nelson College got the win over Stack. Make sure you join us on all our social media channels, Instagram, Facebook and Twitter, to keep up with all the latest news. Plus, I've got some good news for you guys. We're on YouTube. Catch our show later in the week to watch it over and over and over again. We'll see you next week. First 15 rugby is that you can't really beat in terms of passion.
lovely ball out in front. Look at that fin. What a history and what a tradition. 